Hello, I'm William Ash and I'm playing Christopher Mead. Christopher's come from John Foster's school, which has been merged with Waterloo Road. Um, and he's come kind of being guided by Max Tyler um, and hoping to kind of hold on to Max's coattails and be promoted up through the ranks eventually, probably, you know, running the school or running a school. So he kind, of, he kind of comes in with the same kind of aspirations and on the side of Max Tyler. Um, and then what happens gradually as the series unfolds, he sees Max for what he is. Christopher's quite ambitious and quite, you know, very bright, which I'm not. Um, but he's, yeah, he's very ambitious and quite driven and wants to get on in the world in this. Because he used to, he came, his background originally, he worked in, um, in the city and uh, you know, had a really, really high paying job in the city and then gave it all up to become a science teacher. Uh, but he kind of brought with him uh, that same kind of drive and ambition to, to, to get on in the world. Um, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that driven, I'm not as driven as he is. But as a, as a consequence of him being so driven, he's quite naive and impulsive in a lot of the decisions that he makes. I love the fact that he's nothing like me. I love the fact that he is so... Um, that he is so naive and impulsive and ambitious and driven and can't see the wood for the trees a lot of the time. So I don't dislike anything about him. I can see, you know, I can see his faults, you know, a lot of his faults, but um, I quite like his faults. I knew Jason Dome before I started this job anyway, we were quite good mates. Um, so I was looking forward to, you know, to, to doing it. He'd been doing it for like four years before. Um, but everyone's been really, really lovely to everybody because there was, it was I, I think I was quite fortunate in that they were bringing a lot of new characters in this series, so there was quite a few of us all in the same boat. <laughs> ah, um, I went to school really near this school, actually, um, and I was terrified of getting in trouble because I knew my mum and dad would kill me. So I was always, I was really good at school, very well behaved. My defence of that is then if you ever do get in any trouble, which I did occasionally, people never think it's you then because you've been so good all the other time, so you kind of get away with a lot if you are quite good, I think. At times, yeah. I think all schools can be quite like Waterloo Road, you know, you have, your, you have a lot of, you know, tricky situations, shall we say. I think that's why so many people identify with the programme, you know, they can see their, you know, their own school in it. The kids on this, uh, I must say, uh, um, you know, the kids who are part of the main cast, I've been really, really impressed with because they just kind of, they come in and get on with it and so natural and brilliant. Um, and it's really great fun working with them, really, really great fun working with them. And as well, you know, a lot of the extras that they get in as well because it's quite tough for them. They have quite a, you know, big role to play in this, making it feel like a real school and they're brilliant. They really are brilliant. But I must say that the young cast are fantastic. It was quite daunting at first, I must admit, because you know, you, you, you're coming into something that you know, has been so popular and has done so well that you don't want to mess it up. Um, so, you know, terrifying in, in, in one respect, but also it's quite exciting because a lot of family and friends who I speak to were so excited when I got the job that I was going to be doing it. With, um, so that was, that was really, really nice. But yeah, my overriding feeling is that, you know, it's done well so far, don't go in and mess it up now.